Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest 11. It's your boy Kyogre Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. We're gonna spend the first part of this episode just turning in a whole bunch of side quests that I have been up to um, since last episode, basically. A right reel I can't do yet because this one requires me to craft a fizzle foil. I have to craft it because of our draconian um, settings that are enabled for this playthrough. Uh, and we're gonna get that when we complete another side quest. So we're, we're gonna have to chill on this one for now. The, the measure of a man... Basically we had to use a... Um, pep power called Buff Buff to be the night clubber. We done did it. We're gonna turn this one in this episode. Let's see here. We have when night falls, we use the Arise before defeating Night Aberrant. Easy. Another pep power quest. This one, I uh, there is something blocking Sniffleheim that I haven't explored yet. I figured we might do it this episode, considering I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we're strong enough to deal with Katsunaga this episode either, but... We're gonna try to finish this one together. Uh, what we have here, search for the Sage's Stone. I don't think we can go down below water, below the surface, to Nautica at this current point in time, so I can't do this one either. But this reward right here, making the most of Mithril, is actually what enables us to uh, craft the Fizzle Foil. So I'm definitely, definitely keeping an eye on this one. Soothing Seaweed, we got the Seaweed. I don't know why it says still on the way. It should say nearly there, but I got it anyway. My kingdom for some Kanalomari. Killed the freaking tentacular with a temper tantrum pep power. It wasn't easy. This one was quite tricky actually. And I just finished this one, which is Rock Hard Roulette Challenge. I hit the jackpot basically, and I got like a million tokens. But this one was annoying. I think I spent like an hour trying to get this shit right here. Anyway, let's just turn these in, shall we? You did it, champ! You hit the jackpot. I gotta tell you, I never thought I would see anybody pull it off. Guess I lost another bet, uh! But I don't mind, that was a whole lot of fun. Here, this is for you. A vest for success. Huh? The statue? Don't worry about that. I already asked one of my guys to take it to the orphanage. We made a deal, right? I don't back out of deals, man. Hey, go ask your little friend yourself if you don't believe me. Nah, I don't care. I don't care that much about this. I just... I just... I just wanna, you know, get the stamp. Quest completed. I'm Gucci. Now! What does this uh, vest do? Vest for success. Land extra loot when they win a battle? Nani? How much though? It's absolutely garbage for protection purposes, but... If you want some certain drops, this is what you need. Alright! Next up, where shall we go? Let's see... Let us go to... Lonolulu. Lonolulu is where we want to go. Let's go. Okay, so we have three quests to turn in here. Let's start with this one. The one that stumped me a little bit. Hey, uncle! You're looking pretty pleased with yourself. You found the dulce dulce, didn't you? Go ahead and give it to the mermaid. Is that some <coughs> dulcet dulce? Could you give it to me? My throat's <coughs> as painful as a <coughs> throat can be. Oh, thank you. <coughs> thank you. You're so very <coughs> kind. I'll just have a little nibble if you don't <coughs> mind. Chomp, chomp, chomp. La, la, la. <laughs> All right, shut up. You need to leave right now. Give me my whatever the fuck you were gonna give me. Alright, sweet. Talk to the little bell. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Spatters of molten globule. Thank you. Bunk. Nice, I'm off. Yeah. 
Hey friend, something smells good. Hold up now, that isn't the smell of Canolomari, is it? Ooh ha! What? Talk about a generous serving while here, man. I've never seen anything like it. This will get us into Kanaloa's good books for sure. As soon as the sea gods had his fill, I'll bet the ocean will be back to how it used to be in no time. Our little cake haze ain't gonna be hungry no more. Thank goodness for that. Mahalo, friend. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. We don't got much hair, but what's ours is yours. So go on and take it. Pentarang. Next! Where the fuck is this guy right here, right here, right? <laughs> you done did it, motherfucker! I can see it in your eyes! You ain't no kid no more! Now you know the true power of the Puff Puff. You've seen it for yourself. You've felt it burning inside you. Phrasing. You've taken a big step on the road to manhood, but you won't be a real man until you learn how to channel that power to be the master of your own emotions. You got a long way to go, friend, but you don't gotta rush it. Just take it one eyeful at a time. Here, take this. It's my way of thanking you for reminding me of the good old days. Back when I was your age, me and my hualahoa. Whoa! You can't call you can't call a person that in this day and age. My best friend, no less. Set off on a journey all around Erdre, yeah. Ch Ram's been all around this world, man. Chalky was his name. We traveled from town to town looking for adventure, trying to make men out of ourselves. It's funny, but you gotta remind me of him, you know. I wonder what happened to that old coot. Okay, so it seems to me this is an accessory, but what does it do? Let's see here. I'm assuming it's for Jade. Wind and lightning attack protection. What you said? Excuse me? It can go up to 40%. I'm sure it will come in handy. Uh, let's see here. Where do we want to go next though? No, not info. I don't ever know. Let's see. Right riddle. We can't do that. Night falls. Puerto Valor. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You do not need to say anything, amigo! Nada! I can see from your face that you have done as I asked you. You have done a great service to the cause of chivalry and to the reputation of caballeros everywhere. Accept this small reward, por favor. Oh, thanks. Hey, pero es muy triste. Butchered it, man. The tale of the night aberrant is very sad indeed, no? The, to be turned into a monster and to forget everything in which you have once believed, huh? A knight's ward is his bone. His kingdom, his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and never retreats in the face of adversity. A caballero must live by these principles, amigo. The thought that they could be forgotten is frightening indeed. Boom. Nice. Okay. Now, Shield of Heliodor, or... Hello? Elemental damage taken reduced by 5%. I like that. But what does my current one do, though? Nothing. So, I could, in fact... It's worth it, man. It's worth it. What I'm gonna do is, I am going to, um... Forge this one into a plus three, and this should help me. Maybe not, maybe not, because all I get is like five five points extra defense and one percent extra block chance, and that's it. I think what I'm gonna do. There you go. This is gonna help me in the fight against Tatsunaga as well. 
Now, quest get logged. What we got is... Gondolia. Okay. See you there. Ciao, signore! Could it be I just am react? What? I just pushed the button. You have brought it for me? Santo Cielo is made of crystals! Ah, Madre Nature, Mother Nature, she creates so many miracles, yes? At last I have seen what my lover wanted to give me. Is... is beautiful, bellissimo! And also is a symbol, see? A symbol of how life always emerge and prevail. It's strange, signore. When I look at this flower, I think I can hear the voice of my lover speaking to me. He tell me to enjoy my life. See, he is correct, no? This world is full of miracles, yeah? I must enjoy them as much as I can. Then perhaps I tell my lover of them when we are reunited at last. Grazie mille, signore. I feel much stronger now. Molto più forte. Prego, take this, per favore. <laughs> it's not much, but I want you to have it. Oh, fuck you, it's the Happy Hat quest. Punk. Okay, so I do believe that was the last quest that I could, I was am able to turn in. So what I think we should do is... I think first and foremost, yeah? Where is this town's church? Down here there, yes? Because the game does have an auto autosave system, but... Always gotta make sure and save your own damn game, yeah I man? So let me save this right here. Hopefully I'm recording. Otherwise this is gonna be... Um, 15 minutes of missed opportunities. Yes, yes, yes. Now. I want us to take a little trip to, let's see here, take me to the Strand. And then get me out of here, Dave. And then... Let's go here into items, item bag, uh, holy wo uh, good, very good, and I'm off. I'm kind of curious to see what that's all about, the thing that's blocking, uh, no, I don't give a fuck about this place. Uh, Sniffleheim, what is that? What the fuck? <sighs> Can I run away? I am not up for this. No, no, no. Ragazzo, no. Oh, no. What the fuck is going on? How many attacks do you want to get off? That motherfucker murdered me, man. Look at the state. Are we serious? Jesus, Rob. Just, just let me see. What the fuck is the deal here? What is this? What is this? Gold? Hmm. I'm sure that wasn't here before. Well, it looks like we won't be selling that way anytime soon. Well, that's not much help to us, eh? They can't get through to Arborea. We can't even find out how to give old Mordigan what for. Wait, there's that pillar of light in the sea north of Sniffelheim, eh? Well, it's just a thought, but maybe that's worth a wee look. It's not too far off, after all. Hmm. <sighs> oh, yeah, I can see that. Yo, yo, shut up. Shut your face up. Listen. So you want me to go. Okay. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. This one right here, right? Yo. From here 
to there. I want you to get me there without any random bats. Can you do that for me, game? Please! <sighs> Yo, fuck! You're lucky. You're lucky I managed to get away. Piece of shit. This is how you treat me after like 80 hours? There it is again. The sweet aroma of fresh flesh. Oh no. I, I don't, I can't do it right now, dog. Please. Don't. Ah, oh, fuck. Who dares to enter my realm? Not me, mate. I'm just waiting for a mate. I'll just turn around and wait around the corner if you want me to. So, we need to get one. You were lucky to slip the hook when last we met. You will not be so fortunate this time. In the name of my lord and master, I shall send your broken bodies to the bottom of the ocean! Oh no... Well, this is they looking good. If Pearly Gates can he do the trick, I, I don't very well know what can. <sighs> yeah. Your hand. Yeah, thanks, mate. The power of the luminary. That's the stuff, laddie. Without that barrier, we should be able to land a blower, too. Right, you lot! Time to finally put a wee dent in our friend here! The thing, Rab, is we don't need one or two blows. We need like 78 of them shits. <laughs> you words really believe you can defeat the mighty Elytherin? You will shake without trace! <laughs> Yo, if this goes tits up, I just don't know. How we are going to get out of this? Line up! Um, something like this. Let me ask him. I think something like this. Fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead with an unbridled blade right off the jump. Yo! Okay, now we're going to decelerate you. Ah, missed. Great. Okay, so I'm going to ride his rain. Your socks up. We might be able to do it. I don't want to be that guy, but I think we can do it. Take heart. I think we can do it. Okay. Now, family, please unfo pedagogy. No shy pox. Oh, yeah. Now, I want you to more heal Silvando. What the hell? No! Oh no. No, no. What can you do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How about I go ahead and um, do this? Not to give in. 
it doesn't seem like he's doing any physical attacks. Rock his shit, please. Okay. How would you... What would you say about a parallax, fam? It was not too fast. He did not give a shit. Okay, so, Alizarin, uh, you weren't... You're no longer decelerated? Is that it? Now, now, not so hasty! Good. I don't even remember if I connected the first time around. That doesn't matter. That does not matter. What matters is... Fam, if I could, like, sap you? Oh, come on! Oh shit, the fucking bed. He's dead. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. That's that's that's, that's okay. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um I'm going to have to kabuff in that case. Since you're doing physical attacks. And this aura, can it like fuck off? Because that's going to be crucial for my, you know, success. Zing. You can do it. Good. He's going to die again. I have a sneaky suspicion. Ow! Ah, yeah, bitch. Okay. Okay. Relax. No shy pox. Yes, no shy pox at all, mate. Unbridled blade. Surely he must be in the yellow. He's not. Uh, whose turn is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Good, 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 good. Now. I'm gonna accelerate all on all of us. Wait, 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 wait. What are we doing? Rider's Rain has disappeared from him. Okay. Come up. Yes. Rob, multi heal immediately. Nice. Karagol needs more healing though. Of course, he's a sneaky one, him. Don't you rock my boat! Here we go. Yellow, he has to be in the yellow after this. Okay. He, he, ooh! Ooh! You're looking a little bit... Messed up there, mate. Okay, so magic barrier. I have to do this. This is bad. I'm gonna tell you what this is bad. My healer on his bum. My buffer on his bum. This is bad. Okay. Hendrik, attack Hendrik! Hendrik! Shit. Okay. Fuck. Okay. This is, uh. Coming down to the wire! Okay. Now, he is the most important member to me. You must protect yourself. Okay. And it's Silvando, yes? Okay. Umfo. Immediately. Calagon. It's imperative for our success. And you. More... Yeah, multi heal. I'm not done yet. He umfold. It's fine. That's okay too. That is okay. Just, just don't, don't let your shy pox flare up, bro. This could be it. Ozone. Sails all enemies with an enormous blade of light. Ooh, I've never tried that actually, but let's do what we came here to do. You 
grab his feather and can't get up. Bastard. Okay, listen, man. Here's what you need to do. Hendrick! 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 Bastard! This is kind of bad. No! Oh! <laughs> Fuck me. This could be... This could be the end of us. That shy pox round could have ruined us. Oh, no way. Rob dies. Oh god, okay. Something like that. Please let this be enough. Please let this be enough. Fuck me. We just angered it. Uh, Eric, attack Eric! Yes! Okay, what the fuck do we do now? More heal. Okay. Not even bad. What can you do? Buff buff. Y'all wanna see how buff buff look? This is how buff buff look. Classy finish, yeah, I mean, happy ending, yeah, I mean. But how? How could the mighty Elizabeth be defeated? You don't get to have a speech when you're dying, mate. Wait, that, that lightning you summoned. Yeah, fucking right. Could it be? Could you be the luminary? And he is craving some fucking sushi. Lord, Lord Mordekin, hear me. The luminary, he has, he has returned. I am fucking appalled. This fish just snitched on me. Is Alizarin easier than Tatsunaga, mate? <laughs> we showed you, you oversized sea slug. Think you're a match for the luminary? Think again, pal. You tell him, Grandpappy. Right, we'd better get a move on. We need to give Mordigan a good hiding before any more beasties like that one come a growling. But first, we need to find out how we can hurt him. He still doesn't know you're alive. But it's only a matter of time. Best get a move on, eh? <laughs> Phenomenal. Could I just... Yes. So could I, in theory, visit Nautica now? How does one get back out? Yes. Yes. Oh, it feels so good to make progress. You don't even understand. Oh. 
What's going on? My heart's beating like crazy. You know, I was... Like, if I had recorded this a couple of um, episodes or a couple of weeks ago, I would have said, Who's writing these fucking lines? But since my recording of last, you know, episode, the previous episodes and this one, some news actually regarding Eric came out. And uh, apparently they are releasing a new game, uh, a Drag Dragon, Dragon, Mon Dragon Quest Monster style game. You know, the ones for GBA with Terry, I believe. Those games were like a huge part of my childhood. I adore those games. So just hearing that there's a new game in development with this guy in it, I'm like, that's a day one purchase for me, dog. I don't know what the fuck you want me to say. Are you in love, Eric? What's going on? Why is your heart thumping? I'm in love with the idea of a new Dragon Quest game, though. The fall of Yggdrasil has changed everything. It's more than likely Sniffleheim didn't escape unscathed. Which is why I think we'd better check in on Queen Frizabel before we head off to Arborea. That all right with you? Of course, mate. Right. We're away to the castle to see the Queen. While we're at it, why don't you lot take a look around town and make sure everything's okay? What, you wanna split up? What, what happens if we, you know, get into a scuffle? With Frizabel or Crystalinda. <sighs> What's the matter, Eric? You look like you've seen a ghost, lad. It, it's nothing. I'm fine. You want us to take a look around town, right? I, I'm all over it. Uh, on second thoughts, you're coming with us. You're in no fit state to be wandering around on your own. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a burden. Come on now, laddie. This isn't like you. Chin up, eh? A stroll to the castle will do you the power of good. Okay, good. So hold on, wait a minute, though. The thing that I'm uh, very curious about is... Go into my quest catalog. Let's see, under what? No, that's not the one, is it? Uh, delayed diploma, you've been asked to track down Lillian. Okay, so I'm gonna have to track down Lillian. Yeah, I mean, I want that quest line finished. I want every single quest line finished. Yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna rest up as well. I'm so happy. Fucking Alizarin's down. I'm making progress. Finish up, uh, finishing up side quests left, right, and center. I have 15 stacks in the bank. Or in my pocket. I'm gonna bank them, though. Yeah, I mean. I'm damn near level 46. Everything is coming up Millhouse. Woo! Yeah, I mean. Let's go. Oh, Lillian. Who is that? Is that Hendrik? Fam, why are... Is that Jade? Why are y'all not inside of me? What's happening? <laughs> what you mean? Caligal can hear hushed voices coming from inside the building, but the doors are locked tight. What y'all think? This is a zombie apocalypse? Heh. Hey! Oh shit! Oh, that's bad karma. That's bad juju. Huh. <laughs> a bad ending confirmed. Yo! Do you remember when we were last here, darling? The city was hustling and bustling like nobody's business. No, there is hardly a soul to be seen. They're all cooped up inside their homes and they won't come out and play. It's almost as if they are not over the moon to see us. I think they're scared of the luminary man. Okay, Lillian, I think you're gonna have to wait. You ain't scared of me, cow? You should be. Oh shit, I'm stuck. I thought the main square would be the best place to gather information, but as you can see, there is not a single fucking townsperson to be seen. Hmm. I hear them whispering inside their homes, but no matter how loudly I knock, they refuse to open their doors. Will you stop knocking on people's doors if they ain't responding? You don't give them a fucking heart attack. What in heaven's name has happened here? Well, we can but continue to search the city. You must do the same at the castle. Don't tell me what I must do. I thought the harbor seemed quiet, but this is something else entirely. It looks like all the villagers have shut themselves up inside their houses and locked the doors. I wonder what they're so scared of. I'm going to keep looking around town, 
you and Rob should head to the castle. Perhaps Queen Frizzable will be more forthcoming than her subjects. You know, describing the townspeople as someone's subjects, even if it's their uh, queen, is still a little bit... Yeah, I mean... Maybe you guys can help us. Ah, you are the traveler who came here once before, are you not? I am glad to see that you are well. Her Majesty has been very concerned for your safety. You must go inside and see her. Truth be told, our kingdom is currently beset by a terrible plague. If you could let the queen know that you are unharmed, it would be one less thing for her to worry about. What you mean? What you mean? This, this, this is a very um unlucky town. Do we just go straight for the throne room? Let's do it. Hey man. Ah, how good to see that you are alive and well, friend. Have you already met with Queen Frizzabel? I have not. So what's you though? Who's what's what's your name, fam? Um plague and all that, yeah. Ho what's up? Hold up. How you doing? You look a little pale. Why do you look so pale? Surely not. Makeup. Cheer up, your majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? <gasps> <laughs> Lord Rab! And your friends, too. I am so happy to see you safe and well. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. A lot's happened since last we met. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. But we survived. Some were not so lucky. Gold fever, you say? What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffelheim. It affects people, animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. To gold? We don't know what causes it or how to cure it. So every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. I tried to send for help, but every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. I have tried to tell my subjects she is innocent, but they simply will not listen. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. There, there, your majesty. Danny looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Hmm. Gold. Why gold? Hmm, intriguing. So, if it's true that the townspeople will help us now, then there is one thing I want to do before we call an episode. We're going to get to the bottom of this, for sure. But I think we're going to do that starting from next episode. However, there is one little small thing that I want to take care of before we call it. Oh, there you are. Is everything alright? Mm, not exactly. You see, 
The queen seemed awful sad. Mm. And she told us about this. Mm. Mm. Is she gonna turn to gold? Ah. Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute, he asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold too. <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. What? You... you know me? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. You're the... <gasps> oh, no! This can't be happening! <gasps> What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? Does she look okay? It's... It's... Got me... Oh, she's Swedish! Hold on now, now I ain't buying this shit right here. I take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. Okay, let's do a little bit of math, shall we? Let's say everyone does turn into gold. How come we haven't seen a single trace of anybody else turning into gold? Who is transporting these golden statues to where? Is my question. <laughs> Eric, honey, are you okay? Tell me where it hurts. Eric? What the hell is going on here? Huh? I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. Hell yeah! <sighs> okay. So we do indeed have a couple of things we can do here. Um... Let me just quickly nip by. Is it in here maybe? Let's see, basically what I want to do is I'm looking for a Lillian. Um I'll do what I can. I mean, it's what heroes do. However, have y'all seen anyone named Lillian? Lillian! Don't look like a Lillian to me. Hmm. Should be at the pub. Yo, y'all seen a Lillian around here? So, logically speaking, the only place we have access to is the Viking hideout. The other places are cut off by this golden... Lillian? Oh, come on. That's depressing. Yo! 
Where is Lillian? I swear to God, if she's turned to gold. Wait a minute, what is this? How did I miss this? Yeah! Hmm. How about deposit, mate? There you go. Leave me alone. Lillian! Doesn't look like a Lillian to me. Who do you suspect? You could be Lillian, but I can't talk to you. Hmm. This is the church, isn't it? Maybe not. This man is something else. Lillian? Did you say fisk soupe? Hmm, fisk soupe. That's a uh, fish soup in Swedish. So, I've gotten a few Swedish vibes from this place, definitely. You want to have a snowball fight. There's no fear in your heart. I don't want to go into the church. Could we? That's definitely a church. Where's Lillian? Oh no! Darn it. I didn't want to... Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders, who once roamed the northern seas, would often stop here to buy supplies, or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. And when they came, Eric, you came with them. Oh. I'm a Viking? <sighs> so that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them took them in and raised them as their own. Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! I need to be alone for a while. Okay, now that he's gone, please continue. Uh, forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Lillian? Where did this Belen go? Is he... Is he right there? Is he fucking... Si Motherfucker. Look at him, moody bastard. Got me chasing him all around the fucking shop. Lillian? No. Lillian? Yes! Ah, uh, yes! 
<laughs> mama, that's how you spell mama in uh, in Swedish as well. Yes. It's not my problem anymore. Yes. <laughs> oh, condolences. My condolences. I will definitely do so. Okay, so this episode is kind of dragging out. I wanted to actually finish this episode uh, after we defeated Alizarin, because it seemed like a quite a quite a fitting place to do so. However, this game has grabbed a chokehold of me now, and I'm having a hard time letting go. First and foremost, I have two things I want to do currently. See what this Bellin went off to. Why do you have to be a moody bitch? I was about to zoom out of here without you, you know. Learn how to steal again. Huh? Hey, I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just <laughs> Swedish people. Huh? I don't have a boss fight in me. Oh, so when it someone turns to gold, that... when someone turns to gold, they get a whiff of it and try to collect. That ship, if the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. You are on top of things, Hendrik. I'm proud of you, man. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. Uh, well. To your pockets, sniveling Sniffelheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Gildegard. All your gold belongs to us. Hmm. <laughs> I ain't saying she a gold digger, but... Come on, you cluttering curs. Let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. It's a nice logo on your chest right there. Whoa. So you guys have already breached the um Might as well, right? And it would be one hell of a cliffhanger to call an episode right here. But I ain't gonna do that to you guys. Sup beaches? Get the statue back to the ship. You don't want to keep building a waiting. <sighs> the monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be there doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiger, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend! You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us! What well, he said! <laughs> you think you can stop us? Feeble flesh bags! You're not even worth stealing! The boss only likes two kinds of humans gold ones and dead ones! Let's bury them, boys! Okay. So, line up, yeah? 
I think this is fine. How about we go ahead and multi thrust on uh, <laughs> Gilden Britches? Uh, you take care of Gilden out. And then. Oomful on Karagon. Yo! That's bad. Okay. See, that's kind of bad, though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something like this. Why don't I show you how it's done? Please do. Quadra Slash. That one's still kicking. Interesting. I could buff us. I should buff us. Take heart. That one is still kicking. What the hell? Uh, Rob. If you could kindly get a turn. Okay. I mean, more heal. Right now. Could you get rid of paralysis, please? Uh -huh. I don't think you can. That's not good. That's actually pretty fucking horrible. Rider's Ring. Line up. I'm pretty sure he can cure paralysis, so... Quadra Slash. Finally. That's kind of bad. Oh, it's not that bad. That's fine. Okay. Uh, do this one. Nice. Nicely done. This is gonna be it for you. Beautifully done. Their companions are fleeing. After them. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Eric! They've got Eric! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! How? Why? Never mind why. They must be stopped. Quickly. <laughs> Yo, you guys are idiots. How do you let them load these people oh, into the boat slow. and take off? Oh, Eric. We are getting that boy back, and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. There is only one place they could have gone to, bro. <sighs> hmm. Alright, listen. There's only one thing I want to do here. And that is... Let's go to... Uh, right towards the academy. Oh, fuck off. I can't leave? Why? Where is the damn church? 
Is this it? Has to be. Nani? Is he at the, um... Did he turn to a golden statue as well? He couldn't have, because then they would have taken him. I am sorry. The creatures found us. And I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. That's a great question, Father. I was about to ask you that one. And yet, they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in, could they be? They could be. You know, I had the very same thought. Yes, I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they are them. But how? Hmm. Those gold-hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked. The fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here, in a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. So, are you gonna allow me to zoom out of here now? Please. Yes! Oh, fucking thank you. My OCD is going to be fine now. And then it's gonna be like, And oh, you can't zoom back into... To... To... Sniffleheim. Because you don't have a fucking code. Hello again, mon cher. Did you have any luck in finding Lillian given his Zirzi-Ziplum? <laughs> yes, passed away, but somebody got the diploma you gave to me. Oh, is that so? I was too late then. I remember when the people of Zvorzros were scattered far and wide after the kingdom fell, many people could not find the strength to carry on. But Lillian was always dura-queer. What? Praising how you say a real tough cookie. She did what she had to do to make sure her family pulled through. Merci, mon cher. Thank you for delivering the diploma. <laughs> now I can finally retire sans regret. Here, I want you to take this. It is only un petit chose a little thing, but I hope that it helps you on your way. <sighs> Fucking thank you. Silvando's gonna love this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah! So, can I turn these things in as well? Fam. 
take my st yeah 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 two two oh fuck me I'm so far away <laughs> 62 yeah we're definitely gonna call it an episode here next episode we're gonna raid the Viking hideout together I hope you guys I hope I'll see you guys next episode man I'm out of here love y'all and do says.